Hi, thank you for joining me, Stephanie Trickay. With just a few short steps, we can get you started with your own Twitter account. Let's jump right in. First, open up your browser and go to www.twitter.com. Enter your name, your email, and a password. Then click sign up for Twitter. Here, you can select your username, or what's often called your Twitter handle. You can always change your handle later on, but because you're trying to build your brand, it's good to remain consistent. There are some tips for selecting a username. The first is, try to keep it short. Tweets are limited to 140 characters, and you'd want your handle to be short so that it doesn't get deleted in other people's tweets. Tip number two, make it unique. Twitter forces you to pick a unique username, but if you have a common name, make sure your handle is different enough that people don't mix you up with someone else. The third tip is similar to the second. Make sure your handle is identifiable to you. People should be able to know by your handle that it is you. If it's too difficult for people to associate you with your Twitter handle, they're less likely to mention you in their tweets. And here's your last tip. If you're using your Twitter account for any work-related tweets, keep your Twitter handle professional. What professional means will be different depending on the market, of course. At Stephanie Rocks might be appropriate if I was in the music industry, but not if I was in the tax and audit industry. Now that you have a Twitter handle, Twitter helps you with some basic setup. First, you can identify what you like. Just select some topic areas you're interested in and click on continue. Here, Twitter will recommend some profiles you can follow based on what you selected in the previous page. Feel free to follow any of the profiles or to unselect any that you don't want to follow. On this page, you can select a profile picture that you want to use for Twitter. This will be the photo that shows up as a thumbnail when you send out a tweet. You can always skip this step for now, but it's easy to upload a picture. If you have a webcam, you can also take a picture from your computer. Note that you can just import a photo from your file. If you have a folder with pictures, you can just drag and drop here. If you need to find it somewhere else, you can just upload the photo from where you have it saved. On this page, you can select your contacts to import from your email. Since most of my contacts here are personal contacts, I'm going to skip this step for now. And now you're all set up. If you like what you learned, tweet me at, at Stephanie underscore Trichet.